up with a 200 mile course, let alone getting four thousand. Well, not and it's not just one course, right? You're doing five courses, right? Um, uh, and in five courses, five four thousand riders. Yes. Yep. I mean, all of us have, you know, we've been riding these roads now. This is the 17th running of this event, so I think we're all pretty familiar with the roads around here. And a lot of times, we'll even report back, "Hey, there's a really cool road. Next time we look at doing a new route, we should go check that one out and see if we can incorporate it." Um, there's some always going to be some of the highlights that are always going to be on the event. You know, Texaco, Teeter, whenever we go south, those hills are going to be on there. Um, same with north. You're always going to see Little Egypt just because it's really cool. There's Lauren. This looks like Lauren DiCrescenzo, yep. second place in the women's field, um, riding uh, riding in those aero bars. It's a uh, woman versus woman here mm -hmm. out in the Flint Hills, um, both aero. Uh, and do we have any idea the time separating these two at this moment? No, we don't have an idea of the time, but it's fantastic we are, we are able to send the motorcycles. We've got four motorcycles, four ATVs. Set cameras. I mean, Flo has done a great job in putting. <gasps> oh my okay. goodness! Sorry. Wow, we about just jumped out of our seats. Frankie, the most composed of us all. Good job, Frankie. But yes, we <laughs> I that was a close just, encounter with wildlife. I just didn't scream into the microphone. I was I was still in shock, but that like he almost threw me off for a deer coming across there like a. Wow, that was crazy. Oh, she's so, probably a little bit shaken up now. She's out, out of those arrow bars. Gotta remember, you have to remember also with the camera, it distorts the depth perception. So sure. it, wasn't, it was not as close as you saw. I mean, Lauren didn't even flinch. She didn't even hit the brakes. I don't even think she came out of her arrow bars. <laughs> so, well, but, thank so, you for the exciting moment, <laughs> Lauren. So look. I don't need my coffee now. We just went over those tracks. And up mm -hmm. here, that was the part before where I was talking about having the Garmin for Sofia Gomez Viafan. So mm -hmm. this is a... a Pretty good gap difference between um, first place and second place as Laura de Crescenzo is always trying to be able to make her way through some, some of these muddy rides. A great ride by her, but Sophia, I think, with a, a big enough gap where she's uh, looking more and more comfortable to make it in. Yeah. Coming up on 10 hours and 10 minutes. Again, we talked about the record. Of course, it's a different course. It was 12 hours last year, but still, this is first and second. Third, fourth, and fifth, they're spread out all over the place. Nobody is riding with anybody out here right now. And Christy, uh, when we were last south, uh, Allison Tetrick broke 12 hours. Amanda Nauman bo broke 12 hours. Mm -hmm. So we've seen women go under 12 hours before, but uh, goodness, again, we're just over 10 hours and 10 minutes into this race. Yeah, I think you know, I think she's Sophia's definitely going to break 11, and I don't, I don't think how, I don't know how Lauren could catch her at this. point.